uh, what to do for 69, but I, I honestly don't know. Maybe we'll play a uh, hot summer beach volleyball or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the game, but I, I know I got some, some, some stupid thing like that. Uh, I'm not getting game audio. Let me check my sound settings real quick. Uh, and to think I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me stumbling across you and God of War. And I think we all know that's our favorite number, Nate. That's just the entire internet as a collective. Like, that's their favorite number. Hands down. Um, okay, so that's that's working. Or it's turned on. Okay, so there's there's audio. There's just not audio in that part of the game. Okay, that works. Uh, turn on the game audio, and, uh, let's play some fucking Jack 2. You excited, Nate? Me too, man, honestly. I mean, like, I've, I've been vocal in the past about I, I'm pretty sure I like, or will like, Jack 1 more than Jack 2. But, I'm still excited to, uh, to play it out. First, of course, we gotta go through the options. Everyone, take note, subtitles are on. They are definitely turned on. <laughs> We go back to the gate. They're still on. Okay. They're on. <laughs> uh, progressive scan. Yes. Please and thank you. Um, 4x3. Yep. I think PlayStation games look better as 4x3. Um, that's weird. When I turn on progressive scan, it moved over a little bit, it looks like. So, that's fine. We'll just uh, reposition that there like so. Or actually, you know what? I think it changed my settings in general uh no i guess it did just move it over what the hell what the hell game um i had you moved up one and then moved over some amount right about right about there ish that looks yeah because okay so this like circle on the screen isn't centered, which is bugging me. It's making it harder to tell when when it's centered on the screen or not. Unless oh no, unless the cropping is all fucked up. You know what? It's fun. It's fun. I'll just leave it. It's good enough, right? I'm sure it's fun. Do do do. We can do better than that for Jack or for Jack too. For sixty nine, do you have any uh do you have any ideas for it? Because out of the games I have, I honestly don't know what I would play for sixty nine. <laughs> Start doing a test run for Dragon Age, trying to add some quality of life mods and some graphics scale up. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Thank fuck. <laughs> Even with me liking Jack a lot, you still like Jack one more, yeah. I don't know. I or uh I don't know, like, maybe I'll end up changing my mind once I finish Jack 2 or whatever, but I like the lighthearted nature of Jack 1, like, I just remember the Screaming Weasel, that's the same series, right? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> the The Screaming Weasel is definitely Jack and Dexter. <laughs> hey, Noodle! Oh yes, the OCD of perfect screen space, I know, it is kind of bugging me. But, like, the thing is, I don't know if that menu is centered or not. So, like, I could spend all day centering it, and it may not actually be correct. I don't know. Just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. Beneath our feet, the plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of Looking shit up now, unless we want to do the obvious option of GTA. The problem is, it has to be something I either already own or can buy locally because we only have a few days until we hit 69, right? Like a week max. Uh, quick story recap of the first game: we succeed, uh, in in getting the precursor orbs and all that shit, but we uh aren't able to save Daxter. Like we're not able to turn him back to a human. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> left behind can still do great harm or great good if you figure out how to use them i've had some experience with such things i know you can make it work looks like jack still got the mojo interesting it appears to be reading out some preset coordinates 
<laughs> Noodle's new favorite emote there. The pot friend. I found a pot friend in Elden Ring last night. He looks kind of like that, actually. <laughs> uh, I think we fucked up, guys. Why does he sound like Kratos from the new God of War? I don't think so, because I, like... Elden Ring is new, too. Oh. Yeah, okay. Never mind. They actually did put out a tweet. From the, uh, from the Twitch page. One like and we release a pot friend emote, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's where it came from, I guess. <laughs> Oh shit. I had no idea, man. I just randomly came across it last night when I was playing Elden Ring. Okay. I swear that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap. Looks like Reddit thinks Demolition Girl or Dead and Alive 2 because of boobies. I mean, boobies is as good of a reason as any, as far as I'm concerned. Forget the right. <laughs> I don't own either one of those games, but I can check the local game store and see. Two years later? Bruh. Honestly, didn't realize it had been that long in between the uh, us arriving here and whatnot and then the game. Nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without but I have weapons, plot armor. Men cannot hold them off forever. <laughs> not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures. Daxter, you fucking suck, yeah. Plan. Oh, the GameStop, or GameStop, Game Store had a DOA last time you saw? I'll be back later. Yeah, that might work then. We might be able to do DOA. I need to stop down there anyways to, uh, ding, ding, third floor. to third see if he has any PS3 controllers in stock. Because, hey, yeah. As much as I love my PS2 controller, I'd rather not play a PS1 game on the PS3 with the PS2 controller. Like, that's a fine hello. I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally. So there is a Daxter game. I wonder if the Daxter game goes before this one in the timeline. I feel like, uh, I feel like maybe that's the case. I only ever played a little bit of it. It was a PSP game. I never finished it, though. It does? That explains why Jack's not really in the game, then. I was curious about that. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Where the fuck were you in the last two years? Uh oh. Oh, it's right, man. See, they went from like that lighthearted tone to suddenly this. It was just like, it's a bit of a, uh, it's just a bit jarring, I think is the problem, you know? Like, hey, when the save icon appears, they're saving. Don't turn shit off. <laughs> but other than that, like, it's still Jack and Daxter. It's just, it just has a darker tone. Than the other one does, but it's still like platforming. Uh, there's there's guns in this one, right? If I'm remembering correctly, they added guns in the second one, uh, not the not the third one. Can I invert my controls by any chance? I don't remember seeing that in the options. Did I miss it? Perhaps. That would be fantastic, but no, it doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> it's weird. Like I'm backwards, man. Like my my justification for liking my up and down being inverted is the fact that like you're controlling a camera, right? If you're pushing a camera up, then it should be looking down. If you're pushing a camera down, then it's gonna look up. But then if you use that same justification for left right, then this is right. Right now I'm pushing right, and it's turning the camera left, like the view of the camera, because you're pushing the camera to the right. If you push the camera to the left it makes your view change to the right. But for some reason, I prefer it the other way around for left-right. Like, 
It's backwards as hell, I know, but that's how uh, it's how I be, I guess. And then back to Happy Friend. That was too fast. I mean, was it though? We'll be able to buy stuff with them. Which is why one is still your favorite, yeah. I think one will still be my favorite after after playing through all of two, but I uh one's always gonna have a special place in my heart nonetheless, you know. Oh, I forgot to throw away the ham, I'm sorry. Katie was pawing at it. <laughs> she was hungry! I don't think ham would actually be that bad for cats. Like it's cured, it has smoke, and obviously it's high in salt. But other than that, like it's just it's just meat and salt basically, right? Like I don't think it has uh, onion or garlic or any anything that's bad for cats in it. So that'd probably be okay. Gross inverted camera controls. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I like, I do like the vertical inverted though, and I think it's because like that's what I grew up with, right? Was with pushing up moves the camera down, or points the camera down. Pushing down points the camera up. That's just how I grew up with, with games, so like... It's not too bad, but can give the runs, oof. <laughs> runs would be worse than that, or the worst of that. Yeah, especially for our cat, because like she already has problems using the litter box for some reason. I don't know why she just kind of hates it, but like the worst part, like she'll do fine for months without any problems at all using the litter box. And then suddenly she'll just be like, nah fam, I don't want to use the litter box anymore. Wait, we can't grab onto ledges? Why the hell didn't we grab onto that? The crate had a health pack inside. Pick it up. You'll want to keep helping Jack or uh, we'll do the fighting. Ah, you got this Daxter, I believe on you. What the fuck? Game? Okay. Guess I have to pay a little bit of attention. <laughs> now she's acting all cute, wrapping her tail around her front paws. Aw. She just wants love and attention. Is there anything to the right? I don't know. Let's just jump over here and not die again. Oh, that's right. We got the, the high jump. Oh, we can grab that ledge, but not the one that, you know, I died on. Do your uh, stuff. So we still got the spin attack too. So we spin with circle now. We punch with square. Triangle does nothing right now. X is still jump. Okay. We got this. Oh. Well, I'm glad there was like something down here to catch us. Because uh... <laughs> I thought the guy would like move out of the way whenever I freaking did the, the long jump onto him. I didn't realize he was just going to chill there. Completely blocking us, like. She holds it for days at a time and goes where her little heart wants. <laughs> so she has a cage. Yes, she does, sadly. Although she doesn't seem to mind it most of the time. Every once in a while, she'll, like, not want to do the cage thing for some reason. But she's actually taken to cage training very well. Uh, you're under arrest, Miss Computer Lady Voice. You got a cat that can eat just about any table scrap and another cat that can hardly tolerate anything. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like she would probably actually be okay with table scraps, but I uh, I hate when animals beg for food though. So I tend not to give my animals table scraps. Like we'll give them a tiny bit of cheese every once in a while or uh, like whenever we're we're making something with canned tuna, we'll give them a little bit of tuna or whatever. But we tend not to give them too many table scraps for that reason. Begging animals are the worst. Ground pound? Yeah. Not as good as the booty blast, but I guess that works too. She has everything she could ever want in that stupid cage. I know she does. She's got toys and water and food, her own personal litter box, a bed, a hidey hole, a loft in case she wants to get up higher. All kinds of towels and things to, to, for her to cuddle up in. Like, she's got it made in there, honestly. She gets to hide from the other cat that she doesn't get along with at all. <laughs> Oh, 
Every time we land in the water, it looks like we're being shocked or something. It's a weird graphic they used for that, man. Right? Like, it looks like there's an electric shock. Uh, I feel like the game's giving us an awful lot of health for what we face so far. It's a little weird. This shit is why I keep telling my birthing unit to stop feeding my cat. Yeah, that it just drives me crazy, man. Like, they're already bad enough with the begging just for the regular food. Like, I don't want them around begging every time I'm trying to eat food, too. I got to yell at Noodle all the time for... <laughs> Because she used to, like, give them... Like I said, I don't mind them getting a little bit of cheese every once in a while and shit like that. But she would give them cheese and shit just on the floor. Like, wherever she was eating it at. And it's like, nah. Nah, if you're going to give them... If you're going to give them little treats or whatever, that's fine. But make them take it to the fucking... Or... Fuck, why didn't I do a high jump? Anyways, make them go to their bowl to eat their food, you know? Whatever kind it is. Like, they need to know that their food is in the bowl, not in wherever the fuck I'm eating my food at. They do. They do really like string cheese. Why can't I high jump off that higher one? Is there something fucking stopping me from doing it? Like... Okay, now I fucking did it. Like... <laughs> what the fuck, game? <laughs> And then I can't grab onto these boxes either. I want that fucking precursor orb. I'm not leaving here without it. Ah, son of a bitch. Why isn't it working? Well, the high jump worked that time, but... Uh... Oh, shit. Okay. Gotta, gotta... No! Son of a bitch. Okay, whatever. I give up, I guess. That extreme cheese. He likes milk. And she likes uh, ice cream. Which is weird, but... Because she's not really a milk drinker or anything like that. But for some reason, she really likes the ice cream. Like, there was one time... I forget what flavor ice cream it was. Probably just vanilla. But, uh... I forgot to throw the lid away. And we were eating it, like, late at night. So, it was, like, the next day... We go out into the kitchen or whatever. And the fucking lid... Or maybe it was, like, in the afternoon. And we saw it later that night. Anyways, point is, we went into the kitchen. And the lid for the ice cream tub I had forgot to put away... And it was just fucking... Oh, I forgot there's, like, GTA-style shit. If you do stuff wrong, then the police come at you. But anyways, so yeah, the fucking lid was just completely, like, clean. Like, 100%. There was nothing left on it, man. Like, it was licked bare. She really enjoyed that ice cream that night. Like... <laughs> and pumpkin. She really likes pumpkin, too. Hello, like... strangers. My name is Cor. May I help you? Fucking loves pumpkin. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. And he can't jump that high, yeah. Well, he might be able to, but I'd be surprised if he could. <laughs> you are a guest of His Majesty Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest. Your inside cat likes honey turkey? Inside a cell or inside the city. I feel like ours would like turkey too. We are all. I mean, cats in general are, you know, they're meant to be carnivorous uh, more than anything else. So it's no no wonder, you know. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis. Everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die. Bruh. How are you just going to arrest everybody? Like an entire section of the city. Not in this city. Protect us from these guards and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. I time to murder. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, why are we angry, bro? I don't know. I, I guess it's like a tutorial section. It's just making us. It. I didn't choose to be evil. They're making me do it, guys. All right, I'm better again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. Can't control it. Uh, you can't control it. I'm so angry all the time now. Justin was very brave. This child is important. Only me and her eat it so it works out that way. It doesn't go to waste as easy. 
Hey, can I just say I'm glad you're streaming today? You had the worst start of my day. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Honestly. On your way to your midterm, you slipped and fell on ice. Your back and hand hurts like hell. The midterm was bullshit. You really needed this. Also, fuck this police force. Kill them all. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really sorry about the the slipping and falling and all that, man. That sucks. And the midterms are always stressful. Like, I'm sure you did well on it, though. Dark Jack is kick-ass. Dark Jack is kind of hot. <laughs> How you hitting on Dark Jack, man? Dude's got claws and can't control himself. Uh, I'd like to steal your vehicle, please. <laughs> yeah, it's GTA the video game, or like GTA meets Jack and Daxter. That's uh. That's uh. That's where this came from, man. Where? Okay, we're going to the sword thingy. So we need to go around here. Have you met me? Dark emo boys are my style. Dark emo... What the hell are they? Wombats? Like... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what animal they are, technically. Jack and them. Or if they really even... Like, are they a, a real animal? Or are they just something made up, even? Like, that's another thing. I guess I don't really know. What's with the question mark? I don't remember the question marks in the game. Just a random uh, holographic billboard of a question mark, man. Are they, they advertising the newest Mario game or something? Thanks, guys. You appreciate that. Y'all, there's Wendy's Chocolate Frosty Cereal. You know, I honestly don't even remember what a Wendy's Chocolate Frosty tastes like. It's been a long time since I've had one. A long ass time, man. Stream can't drive, it seems. Bruh. Nah. I drive just fine. IRL, at least. In video games, it's whatever. Like, eh, fuck it. Can hit some shit. It don't matter. There's no consequences. Um, are you torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. I like the fact that they still in, still throw in little comedy like that, like maybe this guy's mute, you know, like you used to be. Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet? Bro, that's rude, Noodle. <laughs> if I was there and witnessed it, I would have cackled. Rude. From the top of the ruined tower, bring it back to me. Then. Daxter's animal type, definitely Daxter's animal type, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention to what he was saying. What are we collecting? So. We're collecting something for him. I saw that much. Or heard that much, I guess. Oh. What's in the hole? Hello, Mr. Holy Hole. Do you have anything interesting for us? I've got suspicious activity in the sector. Serve your city. Nope. For your city. I guess it's just, uh... Just here to hide from the from the police or something like that? Uh, it's fine. I love how the police just don't seem to care that we're like stealing vehicles from people and shit. Like, <laughs> just completely ignoring that. They're all over the place, but they can't see me fucking stealing this this hover car thing. I'm sure they have names, but I don't know what they are. People falling makes me laugh so hard. Not as hard as small struggles, though. What I'm hearing is you're just a rude person. What was the button to switch lanes? R2, okay. <laughs> hey, that dude hit me that time, okay? He could have hit the brake. I'm blaming that one on him. Is this where we're going? I think so. Uh, triangle? There we go. How do we get out of the car? You don't want to spoil it about Daxter is revealed at the end of 3 what he specifically is now. And it is good noodle. I just, uh, I was just wondering if he was based off of a... So I think they might have, uh... <laughs> I think they might have rushed this game out a little bit more than Jack 1, guys. I'm not sure, but it seems just a, uh... 
seems just a little bit broken in, in some places you know like I don't know what it is though it's just something 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 about the game feels just a little bit off compared to <laughs> Jack one <laughs> oh lord is it the same on the other side it is it's the same on both sides how did they miss that holy shit but anyways, yeah, I didn't mean like what he is like now. I just meant like in general what kind of animal he is. If he was even based off one. I don't know for sure if he actually is. Or if it was just a uh, original creation for the games. Um, I guess we're just going around. I don't... I don't think there's anywhere specific, uh... Like that we need to detour for or anything like that at the moment. I will say, honestly, like, so far, though, I think Jack 1 looked better, too. Which is weird, since it was made, you know, before Jack 2. It's an older game. You would think that the newer game would look better. And I guess, like, technically speaking, it's probably, like, more detailed with, with more geometry and, and better texture work or, or more varied textures or whatever. But, like, everything's so brown and gray so far. Whereas before we had like all that lush landscape and, and different colors and variety. And that's what we're missing in this one, man. But I, I do know it does open up more later on, right? If I remember correctly. Like the entire game isn't played in this, this one little town. From what I remember. I, I haven't played that far into Jack 2. But I uh, used to watch my brother play it every now and then, and I seem to remember it opening up a bit. Oh shit, need to pay attention. Shit's fallen. Ah, crumbly bricks. Bruh, too easy. That was a platforming challenge? What happens if I like stand under the nothing? I was kind of hoping that, like, some shit would fall on us, I'm not going to lie. You forgot your beef jerky up here? Come get it. You're allowed in the bedroom while I'm streaming. Like. <laughs> or if you want to wait till a break or whatever, I can throw it down to you. Or run it down to you. You're eating ramen now? Bro, I was actually thinking about that the other day. Um, Like, I bet... I'm sure someone's done it before. But I bet some uh, beef jerky, like, rehydrated in ramen would actually be pretty good just leave out like a little bit of the soy sauce or something so it's not quite as salty and then just put a few uh pieces of chopped up jerky down in there i bet you that would actually taste pretty decent add a little bit of the, the salt back into it a bit of meat a bit of meatiness to it some smokiness like mm. you're sick of ramen i don't eat the packets of ramen because they're all made in facilities with uh, shrimp but i make homemade ramen and it's fucking delicious. I enjoy the hell out of it. I don't know if I could ever get sick of it. It's too it's too varied doing it that way. You know? I still buy the noodles, of course, because I mean I ain't over here running a ramen noodle factory or whatever. But uh it's still relatively cheap though, with buying the noodles, and then I just use like either a like homemade stock would be preferred but usually i just i just do it the easy way and use like a boyan cube or a store-bought broth and then add in a little bit of butter or something to replace the the fat that's missing from a real broth like a homemade broth and then throw in like whatever meat and vegetables and shit i want ah delicious man delicious college butt budget ramen cups is mine i did eat a lot of ramen and ramen cups when i was younger but these days i'm more conscious of uh the possibility of my allergy getting much worse so i don't do it anymore i do kind of miss it though just because it is something really easy to do or to eat whenever you're uh whenever you're you're hungry and don't really want to cook real food or wait for real food to cook but i'm lazy Ooh, is it red now because the police are mad at us or why did that question mark turn red? Ow. Oh. Oh, bud. I didn't mean to blow you up. I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I hope you're okay. Ow. 
<laughs> uh, it wasn't me. Nope. You see nothing. Nothing happened. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. You're kind of in the way. Oh, that hurt. You are dead. <laughs> uh, got me wanting to make ramen, Nate? Do it, bruh. So I would suggest, uh, I don't know if your local Walmart does Rue, but uh, Nate, ours does. The uh, In the, the oriental food section, they carry... Oh, fuck. I mean to fall down there. They carry, it's a four pack of ramen noodle bricks and it's like $2.50 or something like that. So it's a little more expensive than just buying ramen packets since you can get those for, what is it these days, like 30, 40 cents or something like that. But still, you know, it's not too bad. So four ramen packets, $2.50 each. That only makes them, what, 75 cents for a, a, a brick, something like that. 75, 75, that'd be a dollar. 50 so not even 75 cents for a brick and then obviously like you got to use a, a buoyant cube or whatever so all in all it ends up being like a dollar a bowl like it's not that bad yeah yeah it's yellow and something flying bike and stream still can't drive bro my driving is fine i wanted to blow up those cars okay they were in my way i had to teach them a lesson it's the evil side of jack coming out shouldn't be surprised i've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> oh, that explains your charming... Did they explain what the Crimson Guard was yet? I don't remember them talking about that at all. I'm assuming that's the police force, right? But I don't remember them naming them at any point. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention, though. There ain't no patents, though, out there. Peeps be getting deep sexed. Find the large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. Hey, oh, how sweet of you. Him a touching moment. Uh, what? <laughs> Do y'all need a moment alone there, Daxter? You don't trust this dude? I trust him. Like, I think it's okay. I, I do feel like they didn't do enough uh, setting up the story, though, right? Like, it just kind of rushed into it a little bit too quickly. It's the only problem I'm, I'm seeing with it so far. Gonna use a cube, but also put some slice-up beef uh, rib in it. That sounds pretty good. I, uh, I was wanting ham, so I ended up buying a ham and cooking it last night. And uh, we have a bunch of leftovers, because, I mean, with two of us here, I can't really eat a whole ham in a sitting so my plan is to take some of that leftovers and probably make some uh chicken ramen and then put some ham in it although i might do beef just because i already have some beef broth out from the last time i uh i made ramen so i don't know but yeah i figured i'd just like put a little bit of ham down in there for the meat i think that'll be good and then i'm gonna take the the bone and the the leftover meat that's attached to it and make some green beans hell yeah, dude. I love green beans. Like, green beans cooked with uh, a ham hock and some, you know, like, onions and garlic and shit thrown down in there. Oh, boy. It's one of my favorite foods, if not my favorite. Like, it's it's up there. I fucking love that shit. So Daxter, honey, that sounded way gayer, gayer than you intended. I mean, way gayer than you think it intended. He might have totally meant it that way. Like... We don't know what Daxter gets up to in his free time, you know? I've got suspicious activity in the sector. Uh, there's no suspicious activity in the sector. What are you talking about, bro? I don't remember what those question marks are for. I saw another one back there. I don't think it's going to let me just drive through this. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Make some pork ramen? Essentially, yeah. I mean, we could, like, make a broth out of the, uh, the, the extra ham and the ham bone and whatnot, but I don't know. Oh, what I probably will do, though, is whenever I make the green beans, because I just put that in the freezer because I'm not ready to make the green beans yet, but whenever I do end up making the green beans, I'll probably save the, uh, the, the extra juice and use that to make ramen, because it'll be like a, uh, a ham broth with some, you know, green bean juice, but I don't mind that at all. Because that sounds fucking delicious to me, too. 
Leave the onions out and add some bacon? You mean for the green beans or for the ramen? Because I mean some... Uh, bacon and ramen sounds good too, not gonna lie. But no, I really like onions in my green beans, man. You gotta have you gotta have onions and garlic, maybe a little bit of potato. I don't like when it's there's too much potato in it though, but a little bit of potato in the green beans is pretty dope too. And then you just gotta cook it like all fucking day so the green beans get super soft, man. Oh, it's so good. I fucking love it. Whenever I put a ham hock down in it or whatever, I don't usually put bacon in it. I usually do bacon whenever I don't have ham to put in it. Because uh, it's good with ham. Or, I'm sorry, it's good with bacon too, of course. Don't get me wrong. But I think uh, adding a nice big ham hock adds more flavor to it than uh, than, than some, some bacon does. I don't know how I feel about, like, the mission-based gameplay that they got in this one, too, you know? Like, it's alright, but, uh, I like the more freeform kind of gameplay that we had with Jack 1. I'm not sure if maybe it opens up more later on or what, but... But, yeah, I mean, you could put bacon down in there with ham. It definitely wouldn't be bad, I just think it might be a little bit too much for me personally oh god green beans bacon and ham man that was one of your favorites growing up we always had plenty of it after after the holidays yeah that's mostly i mean we made it mostly for the holidays but we we made it as just like a regular food too it was kind of a staple food almost in our house but uh i don't remember if we used bacon and ham growing up or if it was just one or the other. I know these days I always do one or the other, but... But I can't remember when I was younger how we did it. I mean, I can hardly remember yesterday, bro, so like... <laughs> Alright, if we go to the pause menu, it has like a mission screen though, right? What exactly are we trying to do here? <clears throat> Find the pumping station valve, okay. Do we have like a map to help us out? We do. Um... And we're just trying to get to that, I'm assuming to that green blinking dot is where we're trying to go. Which, if that's the case, then we are going the wrong fucking direction. We should probably go that way. Uh, map. Yes, so more or less this way. Now, this water looks friendly enough, right? I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be fine in there, yeah. Yeah. I don't see any giant sharks coming out to, to murder us just yet. What are the red things? I know the, uh... The, the purplish orb thingies. Those are like the, the dark... Whatever the hell it's called. That lets us go into... Evil Jack mode. But what's up with the... The red things? They look like landmines or something to me. It was made fresh normally, just we usually had plenty of ham left that we'd freeze and use for a few months. Yeah, I mean, that's that's exactly what I'm doing, you know? <laughs> so, like, I totally get it. That's probably what we did, too. I uh, I don't know for sure how how my, my parents made it when I was younger, but, uh... But, yeah, I mean, anytime you cook a ham, like, what are you going to do with that giant-ass bone? You're going to either throw it away, or you're going to make some bomb-ass fucking broth and put some green beans in it. Like... <laughs> just how it is. Green bean soup, essentially, with a decent bit of ham and a little bit of bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I mean, I'm pretty sure our family's made it essentially the same way, except I don't remember if we did bacon and ham or just one or the other. And then, yeah, we did we did onions, because onions are the shit. Another thing we would do with leftover ham all the time, which is something I might do. Noodle doesn't like these either. But just, uh, ooh. You don't look friendly. Okay, going the other way. <laughs> that robot did not like us going out that far. Uh, uh, soup beans. Take like some some beans and put uh, the ham hock down in there, or in uh, chunks of like leftover ham or whatever. Cook that up with some some onions and shit until it's uh real nice and soft and delicious. 
And then you take the, the broth, the ham, and the beans, and you just dump it over some toast with butter or whatever. Oh, boy. It's fucking delicious. Food stuff is one of the few things you remember growing up. I, uh, I didn't help out in the kitchen too much, I feel like, growing up, to be honest. As much as I love cooking, it's kind of surprising, but yeah, no, I don't. I didn't really do a whole lot, I guess. Oh, uh, we're totally gonna get zapped, yep. <laughs> you like onions, but don't like cooked onions? I mean, I'm with Rue. I just like fucking onions, like... <laughs> I like raw onions, depending on the circumstances. I love cooked onions, like... Get them just, uh, either a little bit softened up, or give them a little bit of sweetness, depending on how you cook them, like, bruh. That's some good shit. Love it. You never got big into any beans other than green beans? Those were the only two I liked growing up. Well, no, I liked, I liked the soup beans that, that we would make with ham and whatnot. And then I liked uh, chili and I liked green beans and that was it. And I thought for the longest time, I just didn't like beans, right? With the exception being those three foods. But it turns out I don't like lima beans, and I don't like the way people cook beans, right? I don't like sweet fucking beans. Like, I, I don't want baked beans that are covered in sugar and barbecue sauce and whatnot. Like, where that's just gross to me. It's sweet and just, ew. Like, I can eat it if I was, like, starving or something like that, but it's definitely not how I, how I prefer them. And then, uh, like, what, what, what was the other one that I was going to say? Nah, shit, I don't remember. Oh, and then, like, lima beans? Lima beans in general are just gross. Like, to this day, I still don't like... I still don't really like lima beans. Not my thing at all. But nowadays, man, like, you take you take beans and... Fucking, you can put them in a burrito. You can have them in chili. Green beans, just on their own or, or cooked with ham. Uh... Refried beans, love refried beans, man. So good. Another one of my favorite things. New to when I watched on YouTube, someone make a uh, a refried bean taco, which I love. Don't get me wrong, but they did it using an entire an entire can of beans on a single uh, taco shell, a single flour tortilla, and like Noodle thought it was the grossest thing in the world. But, oh, Lord, it looked good to me. Other than the fact that it was cold. Like, they didn't warm up the beans at all. They totally should have warmed up the beans. But, like, yeah. See, as a kid, you love baked beans, but you hate them now. And even then, my grandma makes green beans so much you're getting tired of them. I don't know if I could, man. Get tired of green beans, I mean. Except chili beans. Love chili beans. I love chili. I, li I just like food. <laughs> In case y'all couldn't tell, I just really like food, y'all. It's some good shit. Refried beans are yum. I agree 100%, especially with cheese. I I like them with a... I mean, I could eat just a refried bean taco or just refried beans on their own, to be honest with you. But I really like them with cheese and a bit of meat, whether it's on a taco shell or just on their own. Like, just fry up a little bit of a, of a sausage or hamburger or, like, carne piccata or something and just mix it in with the, the beans and a little bit of cheese bruh that's some good eating right there like delish love green beans on their own with a tad bit of butter some garlic and pepper yeah I, that's my go-to is usually just to, to boil them up with salt and uh garlic pepper uh to be honest but these days what i usually do is put in a little bit of chicken broth or a chicken boiling cube and then uh yeah a little bit of butter and garlic pepper all the the normal spices Hey, thank you for the follow, Tragic Accidents. Appreciate it. And that's why we get along great, because we have the same taste in food. <laughs> or just because we both like food in general, I guess, is more or less. Because <laughs> there are something. I'm pretty sure I remember there being something that you like, Rue, that I, that I was not into at all. I don't remember exactly what food it was, but I'm pretty sure there's something gross that you eat that I just can't get into. Was it olives? Maybe it was olives. Oh, no. Pineapple on pizza. That's <laughs> that's what it is, man. Mm, not a fan of that pineapple on pizza. Both of those reasons. Insane because we hardly agree. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's a bad command. Oh, oh, I see, a, I see a, an orb. Got to get the orb. 
Uh, okay. I thought we were like fucked out of getting it, but no. We can just jump from the bottom. That's that's a lot easier. Made some barbecue ribs up a day or two ago. Ah, oh, I love I love barbecue. Like, don't get me wrong. I just don't like barbecue on beans. <laughs> what about grilled salmon? I love seafood of pretty much every kind. I just don't get to eat it as much as I used to because of a uh, shellfish allergy. And it seems like everybody processes shrimp in the same facility as they process other seafoods. But I I love pretty much all kinds of fish, though. All kinds of seafood. Um, I'm sure there's stuff out there that I wouldn't be a big fan of. But the stuff that I've tried, I've liked. The, the only seafood that wasn't huge for me was... Uh, oh, shit. What are they called? The... the oysters or, or whatever they're called the the ones that like come in the shell and you just eat them right out of the shell like slurp them out of the shell and they're a little bit uh they got like the juice in them and whatnot like they were okay i i got them at a restaurant so i i finished what i had but i uh it wasn't my favorite though oh that sounds good i agree man noodle and i need to make fish again soon if we can find any. <laughs> Again, it's a bit of a pain to fucking find any is the problem. Like, uh, the, the tilapia that we used to buy, which tilapia is not really known for being the best kind of fish. I'm dead. Yeah, fuck. We fell in the water. But, uh, like, it, we had a, a easy source of it that wasn't made in the same facility as, uh, or processed in the same facility. Holy crap, I can't talk right now as a shellfish so that's the one we used to eat the most but the last time i checked uh the bags now say that they process shrimp in that facility too and i'm like son of a bitch you know it sucks but it is what it is i suppose i'll just have to find somewhere else to buy it from oh my lord i can't can't do it just get up there you never really ate salmon nate uh, do you just not like like seafood in general, Nate, or just never had the chance to try salmon? Salmon is uh, it's less fishy than some other fish, I feel like, and it's also like depending on the cut you get, it can be very like meaty and moist, and it's, it's pretty good. Like, I like a little bit of fishiness to my fish though too, so that's why I don't mind stuff like uh, like tilapia and whatnot that has a little bit more fishiness to it. Tilapia is still pretty mild fish, though. Like, it's not super fishy. And then we have Noodle, who claimed for the longest time they didn't like fish, and now just eats, like, straight seaweed, which is fishier than any fish that <laughs> I've ever eaten, at least. Like, think we need to go back to the city? That's where I'm trying to go, Daxter. Like, beef ribs in the fr freezer, seared them with some butter and barbecue seasoning, then baked them covered in barbecue mix in the air fryer. Ooh, in the air fry. I've never thought of trying that before. I bet that would be pretty good. Now you want more dinner, but there is no more dinner? That's the worst. The absolute worst, man. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of fish, but you love sushi and sashimi. I'm a, I can eat sushi and sashimi, but they've never been my favorite. Um, I think if I had went to, like, a restaurant that made, like, actual good sushi and sashimi, I'd probably feel a little bit differently about it. But the stuff I tried was from, like, cheaper Chinese restaurants and buffets and stuff like that. And so, like, it's just never been my favorite because of that. But I feel like if I, yeah, if I went at, like, there's a nicer Japanese restaurant that a Noodle and I went to before. And uh, after I get re-allergy tested, I would love to try some, like, sushi from there to see if maybe it would be a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, there's also somewhere, I forget the exact name of it or, or whatever, but there's also a place not far from where we live that, uh, has unlimited sushi deal, which, uh, kind of scares me, to be honest. Like, anyone offering unlimited sushi, uh, makes me question the quality of the fish they may be using, but, like... You know, I'm sure it'll be fine, right? <laughs> oh, God. Use the bake function on it. did for 350 for 14 minutes. Flipped them. You did like 10 more. So I'll have to try that the next time that I want to make some, some quick ribs, you know? Let's go back to the city. Oh, shit. I missed that message, Nate. 
Your tattoo got postponed. Oh, that was like the first half of that message. It was just kind of cut off. Why did it get postponed, man? Hope, uh, hope it's not for too long, at least. I just saw you, like, what, earlier today talking about that, right? Um, we need to open up the map. Where is lay exit? So we need to go actually the exact opposite direction of what I'm facing. So just keep going this way. Can I just swim over to there or is that mean robot thing going to get me? I wish I could angle the camera down a little bit more. Okay, there's platforms there. We're good. There's platforms. They charge you if you don't finish it. I know, but like it's still I, it's still a little questionable to me. Like, <laughs> you know? Because, like, fish isn't the most expensive thing in the world, but, like, it's also not super cheap. Like, everyone says it's so good. So, God. You could just respawn. Wait, is there, like, a... Like, a button to, to go back there? Because I did die once, and it just took me back to the end of the level. High scores, game options, graphics, sound, load, save, secrets, restart, quit. Like, get killed. I did once, like I said, and it just took me back to where the pumping station is. Instead of taking me back to the to the beginning of the level. So I don't think that would work in this case. I don't think. That's pretty much at the door. Yeah, I mean... Oh, wait, was it? Did I just miss, like, a, uh, a shortcut to get back to the door or something like that? Oh, I mean, we're pretty much back there now anyways. Because it's right there. So, like, oh, well. <laughs> Your original artist called off, Nate. The lady that thought she may be able to fit me in ended up taking longer than she planned. So now you're going tomorrow at 4.30. Okay, well, at least it's not postponed for, like, weeks or anything crazy, you know? Is it going to be the original artist at least? Or is it back to, like, a, a secondary, a backup artist? Oh, crap. It's also been damn near an hour. Twitch is going to make me run an ad here in a few minutes. So after we turn in this mission, we're going to have to take a short break. Uh, but we should have... Yeah, we got like five minutes left. So we can still... Uh, we can turn in this mission real quick before we go. But yeah, I hope it's the original artist for you, man. That'd be nice. I mean, I'm sure the, the backup artist can, you know, do a good job with it or whatever, but I assume you you had worked with that artist because you liked her, her style or, or maybe she did the drawing for you or whatever, like drew it up for you originally. Um, I want to get that bike, but I don't remember if the brown water will get us murdered. Uh, so we're just going to skip that for right now. <laughs> I don't want to try to jump on it and then just die. What's that other symbol on the map, too? So there's the, the knife. We've seen that one before. But then what's... I can't even tell what that is, to be honest with you. It's like... It looks like a, a, a dude with his head wrapped in, like, mummy wrap stuff. And then, uh... Like a, a giant spoon hanging out of his mouth. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. The water here shouldn't kill me? Okay. I'll keep that in mind for uh, next time I see a bike chilling there and wanting to get in it. <laughs> Backup artist again. The original is scheduled tomorrow, but they're not sure if she will be in. Oh. Is she, like, sick or something? I mean, I hope she's okay. Whatever's going on with her. Again, I'm sure the backup artist will do a, a great job, but, like... It's still, I'm, you know, you have somebody picked out or whatever. It'd be nice if you could actually do it with that person. This is a no hover zone? There seems to be a lot of people hovering around here for it being a no hover zone. Hey, thank you for the five bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. She's pregnant. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess that's a pretty decent excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Can't fault her for that one. Also, I should probably follow the rules of the road and be going down the right side instead of the left. That would make sense, but where's the fun in that? There's no suspicious activity. 
Just mind your own. Oh, that's what I get for looking at chat. I be murdering people. Sorry, guys. I swear I'm one of the good guys. Most of the time, at least. When I'm not turning, you know, dark and scary. The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? When I say so, if I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of crimson guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable, and the underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. <laughs> Just Get freaking smack Daxter all the way. The Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy. So what's with this real deal of body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. I feel like maybe if you had played the Daxter game, you would know a little bit more about kind of the story of this game. Is how it's feeling right now. I've only ever played a few hours of the Daxter game, though, so I'm not positive, but yeah. Like, it's not really telling you a whole lot, is it? It's just kind of throwing you into everything. But alright, guys. Yep, I think I'm gonna take just a short break. That way we don't have an ad in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the gameplay here. And we'll be back in, like, uh, three-ish minutes, alright? You're gonna head to bed. Woke up hella early to make sure you got your midterm in, in time. I'll see you guys later. No problem, Rue. Have a nice night. Thank you for being here. And for everybody else, yeah, we'll be back in like three minutes. Hello? <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's gonna kill us. Coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him anyhow, Zavalda? I don't know. But he's been talking out loud in his sleep. I think Tack has been having the same dream over and over. And in this dream, he finds himself in a strange world. That's a uh, weird opening to the game. Did not expect that. Uh, <laughs> anyways, just double checking all of my levels here real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where's my HDMI input? There it is. And my mic input. Okay. Looks okay. Close all that. All right. Our buddy is getting more Magic the Gathering cards together for me, but Hello? bro, y'all really don't have to do that. Like. <laughs> Lucky son of a gun ended up with a whole booster box when he ordered and paid for a single pack. What the hell? I wish I could get that lucky one of these days, man. That's awesome. A whole booster box paying for one pack. That's amazing. Half expecting a big nose to slap us to prevent us from sleeping. What the hell? Great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people. He who is lucky enough to have fulfilled the prophecy and defeated the powerful shaman. Where do you buy a single pack for two bucks even? What is this place? That's a cheap ass pack. This is the dream world. You've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time you have been called here for a purpose. Of what now? Magic the Gathering. Kronk is, uh, yes. The same voice actor plays Locke, I think his name is. Vicious beasts of the dream world. The guardian who wields the world destroying power of the staff of dreams. Sadly, the princess has no hope of rescue from anyone except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her fright, happiness will be restored to her kingdom and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Mm, nah, don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hello? No, I'm good. I'm out. Peace. Get back here. Maybe you don't understand, Tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. A princess who has been cruelly <laughs> imprisoned within a dark and I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tag. No. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh. 
Okay, well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you, in the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Dak. <laughs> something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Dak. You will need training before you can complete this quest. The dream world is new to you. It has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. All right, guys. We're back. I had a nice break myself. Hope everybody else had a chance to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all that important stuff. After messing with some additional settings, Dragon Age isn't looking too bad. That's good, Nate. Are you still uh, are you still planning on like recording it or uh, or streaming it or anything yourself, or are you just messing around with it to play it on your own? Either's fine, of course. I'm just curious. Because I know you had mentioned that before as being one of the games that you would like to stream if you ever did try to uh, get into it. Uh, I feel like those guys probably wouldn't appreciate it if I rammed into them. The the Crimson Guard or whatever the hell they're called. Ugh, freaking share the road, assholes. Jeez. <laughs> the hover bikes control so weird. They're very slidey, but I mean, that's the way I guess hover bikes, I would expect them to feel. So I can't really be mad about it. It's just uh, taking a moment to get used to. Uh... Okay, I want to go to the to the weird honey rap dude. I want to try <laughs> one of his missions, see what that's all about. I, mean, I guess we could just like run people over and not really worry about what the Crimson Guard thinks or whatever. But I'm oh, try not to. <laughs> I say as I just freaking blow up our bike. Not sure that's any better, but you're still planning on streaming. That's awesome, man. That's the reason you're messing with it. Hopefully, hoping you can start streaming within a week. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. You'll have to let us know whenever you try it out. I would do a uh, couple test streams before you announce it to everybody, just to make sure that, like, you have your your audio settings working and all that good stuff, you know? Just uh, stream a couple times on your account before you share it with everybody or whatever, and then watch it back to see see how it sounds, how it looks. Make sure your, your internet and uh, PC can handle it and all that stuff. And then, if you have a uh, somewhat modern graphics card, I would also highly suggest RTX Voice. It's a uh, huge help in cutting down background noise and all that, all that jazz. Oh, it's one of these dudes. That's what that symbol is. And in time, it will destroy you with its madness. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, <laughs> wait, these statues are the enemy now of, uh, of the metalheads? What? <laughs> Press L2 to summon dark power? Can I turn off the dark power? Any way to do that? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Bring 25. Okay. Okay. You got it. Can do. What do you think I'm messing with? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize you were like actually trying to stream and whatnot already. Um, if you don't have your Twitch channel set up, you could also try recording. Maybe that's what you're doing as well. I don't know. But I thought you meant like uh, game settings. I didn't realize you were talking about like stream settings. Uh, if you're streaming to Twitch, I don't know what platform you're thinking of doing. But if you're streaming to Twitch, you'll probably want to have the upload set to, to and the, the bit rate of the video just set to a flat 6,000. Um, Twitch doesn't really want people doing any more than that. And uh, yeah, as long as your internet connection can handle it, then yeah, 6,000 should be good enough. And uh, it's also within Twitch's recommendations, like guidelines for it, so. Uh... Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I may have blown something up, guys. That's my bad. Don't mind me. Uh, get off the geometry, Jack. Keep running, Jack. 
excuse me, crowd people. I wouldn't suggest getting in my way. You might get shot by, you know, the Crimson Guard, Metalheads, whatever the hell we're calling them. Didn't get into stream settings yet, but that's what you're working on. You got 50 megabits a second down. You think 10 up, so don't know how it'll go. I mean, the download speed doesn't particularly matter for streaming. It's uh, it's all about the upload speed. So if you have a... Uh, if you have 10 up, then you should, in theory, be able to do the 6 megabit uh, bit rate for streaming, which, again, is the is the recommended. And for most games, you can... 6 megabits per second looks good enough, uh, even at, like, 1080p, 60 FPS. But uh, for some games that are a little more... A uh, little harder to encode, maybe, you could turn it down to, like... Uh, 30 fps or or 720p or whatever Just depends on how the the game looking is looking for you but and of course what your pc can handle and all that that's also fairly important uh, oh oh high security tank uh i this camera effects a little weird um uh, hello? <laughs> Game? <laughs> what is going on? Do I have to, like... I guess we're just running from it? I don't see any way we can fight it or anything. It's a weird-ass camera view, though, like... Yeah, that's fine. Just, just shoot the wall, bro. Um... Oh, bro, it's really hard to fucking see. Run? I'm trying to run. This is awkward as hell. It's neat, but bro, is it weird. Like, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Just give me my camera view back. Ah, you dick. You dick. <laughs> okay, so let's not go that way or do we have to we probably have to hey another five bits thank you noodle i appreciate it love so close oh were we like at the end can i like jump over this ow no nope okay <laughs> i had to try oh where'd we get health from there were probably boxes over here that i broke earlier and just forgot about getting a shower so you probably won't be able to hear me okay enjoy your shower noodle ah i thought we could make it oh shit i need to pay attention to the laser beams we're dead uh yeah we'll try that again <laughs> we'll actually like pay attention this time maybe <clears throat> not be dumbasses about it unauthorized use of fortress door Tank. Okay, I say directly before getting fucking shot like a dumbass. I was a big fan of the first game, but uh, Jesus man, I did it again. But I didn't play much of the second or third. I watched one of my brothers play it a fair bit. I'm gonna fucking die again. Um, yep, there it goes. Son of a bitch, dude. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this. I did the... I had... <laughs> I did best with it the first time that we ran through it, which is kind of sad. Um, uh, oh, dick. Ah, uh, dude, I already lost half my health. He's, like, really locking onto us now. Um, but yeah, no, I, I love the first one. I got a, uh, platinum on it, on the, the remake for the PlayStation 3. Uh, but the, the second and third one, I just never really played. But of course, that's one of the many reasons why I'm doing this whole PlayStation 2 gauntlet thing. So I can have a chance to try all these PlayStation 2 games that I never really got the chance to play when I was, when I was younger. Uh, okay. I think we're free. I hope we're free, maybe. <laughs> You've been waiting for me to play this, Nate. Your favorite is still Jack 1. 
but you enjoy two and three take second place for you. Yeah, you said uh, three's like more of a mix of one and two in your opinion is what you said, right, Nate? Like it has some of the, the darker, grittier tones of two here, but is also a little bit more lighthearted like one. Like they kind of just took the two and mixed them together and three is the shiz. Break the tubes in the center. Okay. I can probably do that, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely end up playing three at some point on here, too. Right now, we're just trying out the game, but it's, I mean, I don't think I need to tell you, but it's definitely going on the list for uh, <laughs> the games that I want to actually complete on stream instead of just trying out because I, I already know that I enjoy the Jack series. Like, it's no surprise. I knew before I ever played it that I wanted to finish it. And I, uh, I, I, three's the same way. Like, I'm going to want to finish it. <laughs> there is absolutely zero doubt in my mind about that. And then even though I'm not the biggest fan of them, the Crash Bandicoot games, I really want to go back and finish, uh... Crash Twin Sanity and try out some of the... Well, I mean, we have to try out the other ones for the PS2 Gauntlet. But uh, I really want to try out some of the other ones, too, just for... I don't know, man. There's something about the games. Like, they have some charm, some really great charm to them. Even though I don't enjoy the gameplay the most, they're still just kind of... They get stuck in the head. They leave you wanting more. You know the third one, Inside Out, about the second? Here, you know, it's just about the same. Yeah, I just, uh... Oh, shit. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. I just really like the lighthearted nature of one, you know? I don't feel like every game needs to be super dark and gritty and all that. That's jazz, but... But I do enjoy two. It's just not the Jack and Daxter that I guess I knew when I, when I grew up. And that's kind of why I'm a little more iffy about it than uh than well jack one <laughs> the one that i grew up with big surprise nostalgia is a hell of a thing you know <laughs> assholes can't you just oh i thought we were dead can't you just let a man run through your facility and blow up your ammo in peace Okay, nothing else over here. Uh, I feel like spikes, spikes are probably bad. Why am I suddenly moving so slow? <laughs> I was waiting for us to just get straight impaled on these fucking spikes, man. Uh, okay, they got a simple pattern. Hi guys. I'm kind of surprised they're not like shooting at us, but do they only have that short range? electric shock ability or can they not like fire us they look like rifles so i just kind of assumed they could shoot at us but they're not doing it so maybe not hey some health we'll definitely take that <laughs> taking some some real unnecessary hits no no secrets or anything up there doesn't look like it Ooh, what about down in this little this little hidey hole right here uh, well, considering I can't point my camera down there, I'm going to guess that, no, we don't want to go down there. Are those ammo crates? We need those to get through city checkpoints. Very cool. Right, analog stick gives you first-person camera mode. That is actually very helpful. Thank you. Metalheads in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? Uh, hi, Mr. Tank, sir. Don't mind me. Uh, oh, the door's just slammed shut. Okay. <laughs> and... Are we... I'm assuming we're going to try to get them to shoot the ammo crates. 
Right? Yeah, there we go. Go ahead, just just keep keep blowing it up. Yep, yep. Just a couple more. There you go. Good job, good job. You're almost there. I mean, it says zero left, but I see two more. I <laughs> don't know how that works. Sure, whatever. Uh, yep. Six seconds. We're good. We're fine. Uh, maybe. Fucking, if I can go. <laughs> oh, you gotta have the slow-mo action shot, man. With everything blowing up behind you. Oh, the dive. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Like a real action hero. <laughs> Except for maybe the whole, like, half passing out and falling bit at the end. This place has too much excitement. <laughs> Uh. I need to move back to the country. Well, it's not like uh, we really chose to move out here, bud. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of thrusted upon us there. Back to the sword, Mr. Resistance Bro. Ow. Uh, excuse me. Do you guys want to maybe, like, move your vehicles out of the way, please? Don't you know I'm the hero of this game? I deserve right away at all times. <laughs> How are you going to watch somebody just, like, get rammed in front of you and then just ignore it? Just be like, ah, oh, it's fine. And keep driving straight towards the person that just rammed their vehicle into, uh, into someone. Like, I don't know about you, but when I see a, a car crash in front of me, I try to stay away from the person that caused it. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, man. Has returned. One barbecued ammo dump served up hot. We saw something odd while torching that ammo. The Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yakow. <laughs> yakow? You and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our... Isn't that what we've been doing this entire time? Proving ourselves? Bag of eco ore. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. I mean, He's have wired into the we ever really the cared what the Baron's men you want from us? Like, us. Are you still here? do you really expect us to let them stop us? Like... I don't know, man. Starting to think this guy doesn't really know us all that well. <laughs> Ooh. It's gold. Okay, so we should probably be careful with this bike and not let it blow up. Because it does kind of have the stuff on it that we want to do a delivery of. <laughs> is it just me or is there less traffic now? Did they try to make this easier on us? Is there a brake button? There is square. Okay, that's... <laughs> Good to know. What do the other buttons do? Circle doesn't seem to do anything. Triangle hops us off the bike. L1 is a little tiny hop. L2 is nothing. R1 appears to be nothing. Okay. You're definitely going to have to mess with audio. As in like audio levels or just like cleaning up the audio? What do you mean you're going to have to mess with audio? Oh, jeez. That's a hairpin freaking turn there. Uh, Jack, watch for the walls, maybe. Please and thank you. Yep, this is going well. <laughs> Ow. Don't blow up the bike. Hopefully this bike's indestructible. Otherwise, we might have an issue. I don't see it smoking yet, though, so... Maybe, maybe we'll be okay. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sorry, Mr. Whatchamacallit, Fred, dude, bro. Ah, uh, this way. Wrong way. Look, it's very floaty. <laughs> it slides. It's like we're driving on ice. All right, it's fine. It's like a straight shot from here, right? <laughs> uh, do we have to follow the path or can we go over the water? Okay, it seems like we can go over the water. That's... That's helpful. Oh, yeah. That's right. We can just raise it up like that, too. That kind of works. Okay, so the bike's not completely indestructible. So I can see it smoking, but... 
That's where we're trying to get, right? Don't freaking blow up, please. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That was close. <laughs> Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to Everything's ask cool. Him. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. Oh. Your crew? You're creepy well, looking. We shook the heat and your shipment in primo condition. That's good, we didn't right? really shake the heat. They're right it's outside your door, right? actually. Uh, more than ten of your lives. So, yeah, you might want to prepare. And of course, they could be raiding this place any moment now. <laughs> the underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here is the shadow's mascot of the month. Salt. That's a little weird. Please, please don't scratch my chin. Tons of fun. Anyone can see that you and I have the real juice in this burg. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor. Now it's your turn. Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Zeke. Go ahead and try. Capitan here and his friend, Bonus. If you want to see what that baby can do, try the gun course outside. Oh, of course you just have Show a gun course right outside your bar or whatever the hell this is. Who doesn't? <laughs> it was streaming, you say, but had some back feed and such. Mainly was just trying to see how it ran on live. What do you mean by back feed? Like, was there like a an echo or... Yeah, I'm guessing you mean like an echo, like the game audio and, and the mic picking up each other. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much necessary. I mean, it's, I guess technically, especially with modern technology, it would be possible to to stream without uh, a pair of headphones, but I would definitely suggest it. Don't forget to Everything's cool. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. There was a bad screech, really? That's odd. Maybe you need a new uh, a new mic or something. Why? I didn't know it was going to replay that same cutscene again. Okay. We'll just ignore that. Like, actual backfeed. That's strange. Yeah, I thought you meant, like, maybe an echo or something. I didn't realize that. Are you using a mic at all? Or is it just the, uh, the built-in mic that you were testing with? You can find, like, decent, cheap mics these days on... Uh... And like stores and online and stuff like that so i'd look into maybe getting something like that or i mean even a, a good gaming headset the mic quality is not terrible it's definitely enough to get started with you were on your laptop mic for a sec but you have your actual mic okay okay uh we should probably like steal a car does another one want to fly over maybe thank you <laughs> it's a lot faster than uh than trying to to hoof it on foot. Oh, I say as we're like there where we need to go. Okay, sorry, bro. Guess I didn't actually need to steal your car, but you don't mind, right? Like. Oh, okay, so this is a shotgun? Scatter gun, okay. R1 to fire, got it, yep. With the up button, okay. Up button again. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Shoot the crates. Okay. Yep, let's go. Scatter gun course it up, man. What would have happened if we had destroyed all the crates before it told us to shoot the crates? Would we have been able to progress? Like. Oh. Uh. Uh, shoot all the targets. Are we supposed to be, like, standing back, or are we able... Oh. You said shoot all the targets. <laughs> so I was shooting all of them. I didn't know I had a hold for citizens. Uh, you're dead. Sorry, lady. Uh, and whatever you were. <laughs> Look, I'm just shooting everything. You shouldn't have been standing in front of the bad guys. That's your own fault, as far as I'm concerned. Uh... I feel like we're a little too close to the action, actually. I don't know how far the range is on this, but it's probably got a little bit more than what I'm giving it credit for. <laughs> uh, die. 
uh, y'all are fast as hell. Ah. Okay, we haven't hit the goal. We gotta hit the goal. 3,000. We're almost there. 2420. Uh, we could just stop at 420, though. Just We're not gonna do that. Gotta. Ah, uh, freaking citizens. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I didn't realize we only had 50 shots to do it, too. Uh, ammo crates, maybe? Thank you. Oh, dude, they're, it's still going. Okay. I thought it was, like, done at this point. Never mind. We're, we're golden, I'm sure. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Uh, you and you are fine. What? What? How? Why are they switching out so fast? Just people and baddies just, like, chilling together on the same street now? What is this? Okay, so, I mean, we passed. I don't know if we're gonna get a placement here. I see, uh... <laughs> I see it's 8,000 for bronze. I don't know if we're gonna be doing all of that. Ah, uh, especially when stupid people get in the way. Like, if you're a citizen and you hear this many gunshots out and about, maybe just don't come and see what's going on. Yeah, whatever. We passed. That's all that matters. <laughs> Got that boon mic thing from uh, ONN brand for now. It's one of the reasons why you're asking about how it sounded on Discord. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I got you. I honestly forgot all about that, so. Is there a, another course we need to be doing, or is that... Oh, no, we just did the big loop, right? So that's, that's got to be it. Put that back away. I'm sure the guards wouldn't appreciate us running around with that, uh, hanging out all that much. I will take that bike, sir. Thank you. Uh, there is no suspect, sir. You are imagining things. I wonder if they made the changes to this game because of the success to Grand Theft Auto, right? Or if this was always kind of in the works, always kind of the plan for Jack 2. Ever thought about being a wastelander? Hmm? Can't say that I have. Wastelanders find items from the outside the city walls, eh? Any artifact or weapon worth having comes through my hands. Work for me I would like to go outside the walls. I'll say that much. Your way. Kill metalheads. Get toys. Sounds good to me. Slow down, Jack and a fat man. You two had better run that by me again. Because there's no way I'm going outside the city to face more metalheads. Sig will show you the ropes. So you want to be Don't be I know, scared, boys. Daxter. It's going to be fine. When we get out in the we have plot armor. We can't die. So I'm gonna bag him five nasty metalheads at the pumping station. Don't wet your fur, chili pepper, cause we are rolling with the peacemaker. Woo! I need one of those. Where'd you get it? Uh, I don't think you could hold that too well. It's kind of like three, four times the size of you, bro. We'll meet at the pumping station. Listen, cherries. Don't you leave me dangling in the wind out there. Let's do it. Don't you leave me dangling in the wind. Cherries? Who calls people cherries anyways? So our map expanded, right? Do we actually get a C? Oh, oh, okay. Pretty big, pretty big chunk there, but I guess it's mostly empty. It's all just like water and shit. Looks kind of like a person with glasses on and some, uh, some weird head. Weird head. Fuck. <laughs> some weird ha ha hairs. Holy shit. Why couldn't I say that? You know what this game really needs? A fast travel system. I don't generally fast travel that much in video games, but it would come in handy right about now. Uh, I could also use a car. Was there one waiting over here for me by any chance? Nope. I guess they're not that nice. Sweeping for suspects. Oh, don't do that. Put it away. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting used to it. I technically passed my training course for it, but like, only technically. I really don't know what I'm doing. They shouldn't have given me a gun, but they did. I'm not even sure they have permits to be selling guns, but like, y'all might want to look into that a little bit. They call themselves Wastelanders. They seem kind of like a criminal organization to me though. I don't know, man. I just kind of want to go home. <laughs> this is 
Uh, sorry, little bro. I didn't mean to blow you up. I hope you're okay. I'm just not very good at driving. I actually don't have a driver's license either. <laughs> I don't have a weapons permit or a driving's li driver's license. I'm just uh, kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Oh, God. I have seen... Uh, I don't remember if it was a GDQ or what, but I have seen a speed run of Jack 2 done not too long ago. I mean, I say not too long ago. It's probably like almost a year ago at this point, but yeah. It was pretty wicked, man. Like, they beat it so quick. But there's some, uh, some pretty major glitches that they were able to exploit to, like, get out of bounds and glitch themselves into two areas they shouldn't have been in and get items earlier than they really should have, stuff like that. Like, it's crazy. Do I have, like, a horn on this thing so I can get these people out of the way a little bit faster? It's like, I don't actually want to kill y'all. It just kind of happens on accident. Oh, we can reverse. Look at that, man. In what world do they develop flying vehicles before they develop, like, self-driving vehicles? <laughs> This should just be a taxi that I get in and it just takes me where I need to go instead of it relying on me to do any of the driving. Because honestly, that's just asking for a bad time. You shouldn't put this much trust in people. Hey, thank you for five more bits, Noodle. I really appreciate it, love. Oh, you're just trying to get that number one spot back, I know, but <laughs> I appreciate it either way, though. <laughs> Uh, oh, don't hit the, the red dude. The red dudes don't really seem to care all that much what we do to the other citizens. <laughs> I'm guessing we just can't mess with them. They don't like it too much when we do that. You never will. I mean, even if you don't get it back this month, like, it resets every month. So, if you really wanted to, you could definitely get it back this month. But, yeah. Regardless, I believe in you. You're going to get it. Oh, don't jump back in the vehicle, you dumbass. Go outside. So we're here just to kill five metalheads? That doesn't seem that bad. Especially now that we have, you know, an actual weapon, not just our big cartoon fists. Hello, cherries. Ready to hunt a few metalheads? Follow me. Stick close. Why do you call me cherries? Is that some sort of slang? I don't know. Is it like a virgin Here joke or something? I don't... Why cherries? Uh, oh, damn. They got some health on them, don't they? I honestly didn't think it would take that many shots to kill them. Uh, follow you where? Oh, okay. Well, that took you long enough. You know you can just, like, hit them with your fists, right? Those frogs die pretty easy. Uh, what are you doing? Blowing up the tank? Okay. I mean, we could have just went around, but I guess that works, too. This <laughs> way. Just damn near killed us for, uh, for a shortcut. That's fine. Toast those bad boys up ahead. Why can't you do it, bro? You're the one that's got some sort of like mystical staff thingy. Great, kid, great. Don't get cocky. Great kid, great. Don't get cocky. I'm getting mixed signals here. Did, you Did I do great or do I need to stay humble? I don't. Quick, drop the bridge. Drop the bridge? Is there a button that I'm missing? Oh, I just got to stand on it? That's a weird bridge. A bridge that doesn't go down until you're already on it? Hmm. Alright, survival section. Let's go. I hope 38 shots is enough. Oh, what? You don't die to one shot either? What kind of creatures are these that can live a uh, shotgun... Blast to the face. 
Ah, poor metalhead. That's one, right metalhead. Um, to the next did he drop an orb thingy? I guess not. Get over here and stay I'm coming. Relax. Oh, I didn't realize he had a health bar. I guess I gotta actually make sure he doesn't die, huh? Probably should kind of stay close to him then. Oh, I wouldn't worry about me. You maybe, but... Cover you in what? I'm joking, I know. You wanna not die. But that was too easy. There was two little dudes. Like, that's... <laughs> you could have just kicked them while you were charging up your shot. And you would have been fine. Lead the way, Mr... Uh, I don't actually remember what your name is. Mr. Mercenary Bro. I feel like my fists still do more damage than my gun. It might be the same. Uh, excuse me, can you grab that, please? Thank you, Jack. Great. No time to celebrate. You wanna, you wanna come on over here, maybe? Come on, come on, just, just take your time. I'm not in a rush or anything. You're fine. It's not like we're carrying highly illegal weapons around a uh, potentially government-run facility. Mike, <laughs> I'm sure no one will mind. I guess maybe it's about the same amount of health. Or health, the same amount of uh, damage between the the fists and the, the shotgun. Uh, I feel like there's going to be another one here somewhere. Oh, shit, there he is. So every time he gets hit, he has to restart, too. That's good to know. So really got to make sure he doesn't get hit. Now that's what I call blowing someone's mind. <laughs> get it? Because he blew him up. <laughs> he blew his mind. Hmm. I'm wasting them. No worries. I want their skull thingies, though. Can you even hit him from over here? Like not to uh not to question your abilities, sir, but that doesn't leave you a very large area to shoot through. Oh jeez, man. Uh duh. Oh, did I hit him? <laughs> I didn't realize I could hit him. My bad. I guess I can kind of hit him and shoot him. <laughs> I need to be a little more careful, I guess. But I'm kind of running out of ammo. And these dudes are coming from everywhere. Oh, no, you don't. Go back. Come on. You got to be charged by now, right? Thank you. Did another recording, Nate. No backfeed now. Definitely going to move the mic and make some adjustments. Damn thing picks up sounds. A fan. Also going to check out RTX Voice. Like, you recommend it? Yeah. I 100% recommend RTX Voice if you have a uh, modern GPU. It'll help with stuff like the fan, uh, in the background, wife, kids, all that stuff. But yeah, most mics are like that, man. We'll pick up fans, air conditioners, um, the TV two rooms away. Like, <laughs> It also helps to... Uh, to to turn down. Oh, jeez, I didn't I didn't realize y'all had shocking abilities. Can I go super? Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Son of a bitch. Anyways, uh, it also helps to turn down the mic volume a little bit and just uh, talk more loudly. Like that helps too. Holy shit, we have to restart the entire section. I okay, didn't expect that. Um. All right, then. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, see, I don't know how I feel about... Why'd you push me off the platform? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the mission-based gameplay versus the uh, open collectathon nature of... Uh, 
of Jack 1. Like, I, I just, I don't know. Jack 1 is just more my style of game, I guess. It feels like they could have just made this a different IP, right? And, but they, like, made it a Jack and Daxter game as kind of a, a way to, I don't know, use the recognition to sell more copies. I don't know at all if that's actually what they did, you know, if that's what their goal was or why they did it. But that's just what it feels like to me. Did you miss me? No, I didn't miss you. Let's get across the didn't even realize you were gone, actually. I do want to pick up more ammo, though, before we go. Thank you. Try not to die for a moment. There's our first Appreciate it. Keep the other creatures back while I charge up the peacemaker. Yeah, I thought they had said that we were out here to kill, like, five metalheads. I didn't realize we were taking down a whole army of them. Did I keep my orbs whenever I died, or did I lose the ones that I had picked up? That's one. Right I'm assuming up. I lost them, right? Uh, the I don't know. Time. I already got 24. Are they still dropping them every time I kill them? No, okay. The orbs are the orbs are gone from their head. Okay. I was gonna say, if so, that's kind of a bit of an exploit, right? Because you could just get unlimited orbs that way. But yeah, no, they're just dar dropping dark eco now, not the other shit. Cover me. I'm covering you. I'm getting hit. Is that it? No, oh, no, nope, another one. I spun him. Spun him? Spinned him? Spin whip? I don't know. <laughs> I spin wheel kicked him thing. Boom, baby. One less metal head to think about. Next target. Uh, I don't know if you remember, bro, but we actually did all this just like a moment ago. So if you want to speed it up just a little bit, that's, that's actually perfectly fine. I don't think anybody will mind. At least it's not like a super long mission or anything like that. Roundhouse kick? Kinda? I don't really know what you would call it, right? Because like... Does his foot go out? It's kind of hard to tell because the animation plays back so quickly. But I think like his foot and arm goes out, right? And then of course Daxter's tail tail and, and body <laughs> just kind of all of it in one I want a machine gun that's what I want <laughs> you're charged just shoot you're charged thank you now that's what I call blowing someone's mind you know, I kind of liked the one-liners the first time you said them, but now it's uh, now it's a little much, man. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey, don't go too far, bro. I don't want you to die. For some big bad mercenary dude, for some reason, you're a little squishy. Ooh, I saw, I saw another gem. Ah, oh, did it disappear when it went in the water? Lame. Uh, uh, ow. Couldn't even see if there's anyone over here. I just fired because I figured there probably was. <laughs> Assisted roundhouse with a surprise. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Assisted roundhouse with a surprise. That sounds like some really weird dish that you would get at a uh, a steakhouse, you know? An assisted roundhouse with a surprise. Or a uh, very questionable massage parlor uh, special. Like. <laughs> I don't like y'all using that shocky thing. The shocky thing really hurts. So if y'all want to just not do that actually. What am I getting shocked by? Y'all were dead. I call bullshit. Uh, do you want to drop health, maybe? Thank you. 
I appreciate that game a whole heck of a lot. So I'd really rather not redo it again. I think he said last one. A little bit quiet. Hard to tell, but I think he said last one. Oh, uh, you bastards. I can't. Camera getting stuck. Can you can you charge any faster, maybe? Like, if you really put your mind to it. Son of a bitch. He snuck past me. Saw a massage parlor that was open at, like, midnight while you were dashing one night? Yeah, that's the kind of massage parlor that would have an assisted roundhouse with surprise. <laughs> like, that is pretty fishy, though, to see a massage parlor open at midnight. Like, maybe they just had, like, a, uh, a really high-profile client or something. And that was the only time they could make it in? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Sounds a little fishy, but, you know, hey. Gotta do what you gotta do out here, man. Economies are rough. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we just going back now? Mission. Go to the Oracle, talk to crew. Okay, we can do that. And I believe that would be right over here. No health, really? Just Dark Ego? I don't think I need any more Dark Ego, man. I'm already pretty evilly looking, like... <laughs> and I don't think all those transformations can be uh, too good for my hair, you know? Game, are you gonna load? Thank you. Did I just hit an invisible wall and, like, run into one? That was strange. I don't know, man, this massage parlor is 10 minutes from the strip club and about 20 from a sex store. I'm sure it's fine. Not fishy at all. Nothing illegal or sketchy ever happens at that particular massage parlor. Guaranteed. When he trips, it means the game is still loading. That's what I figured happened. Like, the door opened, but the invisible wall hadn't disappeared yet. Uh, I think I have enough now to go into here, right? I want to get off this dude. Ooh, okay. That's not what I expected to happen. Wait, why are you giving me more dark powers? Dark bomb. Press X to jump. Then square to activate bomb. Ooh. Okay, that's actually kind of neat, but very unexpected, though, too. Uh, You're not a cop, are you? No, nah, I don't think so. Okay. We're good. I don't think I should be driving a bike, though. It usually doesn't end too well for me. There's also, like, 50 bars in that area, Nate. Yeah, that's... uh, <laughs> That's fine. Is it, like, a red light district or something? Because that's what it's starting to sound like. Strip car, strip clubs, 50 bars, and massage parlors. Yep. Okay, this icon is like jumping all over the fucking place. Which way are we actually going here? Okay, we need to get on the other side. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, no. Excuse me. Why do you keep saying this is a no hover zone? There's cars literally everywhere. How is it a no hover zone exactly? Or cars, flying vehicle things. Hover hover cars? There we go. Hover cars. Hover bikes? Both, really. Oh my lord. Get out the way, please. Sorry, Mr. Policeman. Oh, now I'm even more sorry. Uh, yep. Excuse me. Yeah, you know what? It's much more convenient for me if I can just freaking go. <laughs> Maybe if I could drive, though, we wouldn't have this issue. <laughs> Sorry, officer, sir. I didn't mean to ram into you, but you were kind of in the, the road that I was trying to drive down. And this is the worst laid out city of all time. <laughs> like, oh, that was another vehicle. 
Uh, yep, excuse me. I need to borrow your bike. Thank you. Like, I want to speak to the city planner that uh, laid out these streets because they really shouldn't have approved all of these long corridors without it being like a pedestrian only zone. That's all I'm saying. You can't you can't blame me in this situation. It's not my fault. Everything's spread out enough to not be a district, but all close enough for an eventful day trip. That sounds like one a uh, very eventful day trip, man. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just gonna hop at, uh, you know, one, two, fifty bars. Maybe go to the strip club afterwards, and then uh, we'll finish it all off with a nice massage and uh, get that that roundhouse uh, special surprise. You know, <laughs> sounds more like a uh, like a bachelor party or something. Oh, you're another bike. Son of a bitch. Su suspect's description is blowing up. Uh, I'm just gonna trade out that bike for this bike. You don't mind, right, officer, sir? Excuse me. Yep. Just let me uh, sneak right past you there real quick. Oh, there's cars there. I wasn't watching where I was going. Am I dead? Wait, can I ride this? Is that like a bus? Oh. Uh. You know what? Can I not do that, actually? <laughs> because there seems to be an officer right behind me there. Uh, don't pull out the gun. Put the gun away. I almost called you Ratchet. No, go in the car, too. Uh, no thief, sir? You're insane? This is actually my car? You decay only bachelor, bachelor party you've done was a D&D game with cheap booze and good food? Yeah, that's whenever my cousin got married, uh... That was the only one that I was in. And everybody kept telling him that, like, he had to have a bachelor party. And he was like, I don't really want one, though. <laughs> so, yeah, we all just ended up playing video games for a day. So it's just like any other day of us hanging out together, really. Why but <laughs> be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. Yeah, that could be a bit of an issue too, actually. Plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, Jack just seems way too I eager to do all these odd jobs. To go down like, and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water. Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? Fuller of metalheads than your plate at a one pass buffet? And of course, <laughs> weapons more lethal than your ever so tiny whiteies on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Atoll, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's. There you go. Stick up for your safe, guys. Self jazz. And cut a desperate deal with a metalhead leader. Metalheads need eco. Metalheads need so eco, huh? Them with regular shipments. In Ooh. return, the metalheads in that sweet, to sweet lore. Just enough to satisfy the baddens' continued rule. Yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the baddin is running short on eco, eh? And the metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne. Wherever that Wait, who's the true ruler? Is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return. Bloodsuckers. I feel like we've got more lore in that one cutscene than we did in the first two hours of the game. Like, <laughs> that's crazy, man. All right, all right. I'm digging it, though. Like, it's a fun time. Don't get me wrong. I am really enjoying the game. I do, at this point, still think I like Jack one more. But we're definitely going to end up finishing this one at some point. Right now, of course, we are playing through Resident Evil 3. Um, and we do the completionist games on, well, like, finishing of games on Saturdays. So we'll be, uh, this Saturday, we'll be going back to that. Thank you for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it. Love you. You're giving me quite a bit tonight. Um, 
But yeah, this will be going on the list for sure of games that we're going to end up finishing on stream. I, I always knew it was going to, and nothing that's happened so far has told me that I don't want to finish it. So 100% that's going to happen sooner or later. Uh, but sadly, that is all the time we have for tonight. I appreciate you guys being here, though. Uh, Nate, you're here like all the time, man. I really appreciate it. Couldn't appreciate it. Or couldn't, couldn't say it enough how much I appreciate you. My mind is like dead today. I'm so freaking tired. Uh, Noodle, of course, I appreciate you too. Both being here and your bits love. And uh, you, why are you sorry you won't give me any more? <laughs> You're allowed to give me as many or as little as you like, love. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to send over, that is perfectly fine. And Tragic Accident, thank you, man, for being here. I appreciate you coming in and uh, checking us out and for the follow, of course. I really appreciate that. So uh, I'll see you all next time. Tomorrow night is the day off, but we'll be back Thursday with something. Don't know what exactly. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back. Thank you, Nate. I appreciate that, man. I've said I appreciate a million times now at this point, but I do. I really, really do. So thank you all, and have a wonderful night. I hope to see you again Thursday. Bye-bye, y'all. It was Card King, and we think he got the pack on discount. Was that including, like, uh... Uh, was that including shipping and whatnot, too, though? Or was that just for the pack? Because, like, if that was including shipping, too, that's incredible, man. Two bucks? I mean, two bucks is a good price for just a pack, even if you had to pay shipping, but still. Tack, you're kind of dumb. Tack is kind of dumb. This is true. I decide you're going to get a 3D printer. Hey, yeah, do it, man. For sure. Just don't be surprised if I'm down at your house, uh, printing out shit all the time. <laughs> because <laughs> i've always wanted one i just don't have a place to put one that's the only reason i don't already have one in my house is because like i don't know where the hell i'd put it the only place i could make sure the cats or like didn't mess with it or anything like that would be uh in the bedroom but i also run an air conditioner pretty much 24 7 in the bedroom and the 3d printer needs to be able to get to a certain temperature not only to melt